Okay, so this is number six from the energy primer on the College Board website. Uh, the problem says solar energy is converted naturally into wood biomass with an efficiency of about 0.1%. Suppose a wood lot of 100 hectares is located in Missouri. All right, so first of all, let's just think about that first thing they said. They're saying, here's the sun shining down on Earth, and you have some tree trying to grow, absorbing this electromagnetic radiation producing leaves and growing taller, essentially creating wood biomass. And it's happening with an efficiency of only 0.1%. That's incredibly inefficient. Um, so in other words, 99.9% .9 of the energy coming from the sun is not utilized by the plant. Part of the reason is the plant has, to, as it makes its energy. So in other words, I mean, if you take APM by... AP Bio, you'll learn about this more in depth. But obviously, this electromagnetic radiation is coming in, and you have a chemical uh, change in here. The plant produces ATP, captures carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, water from the ground, and produces sucrose, uh, glucose, and oxygen. So, to do this, you need energy. This side, this side needs an energy input. And that is the electromagnetic energy converted into chemical energy and ATP. And you have this production. And it's very, very inefficient. Most of it is lost. Most of the energy input's lost. Um, part of the reason is this glucose is needed by the plant, not just to grow, but even just to live day to day. It's not used for growth. The other main reason is less than half of the sun's energy comes as visible light. And the photosynthesis needs visible light. Uh, so the infrared radiation, the ultraviolet radiation, that can't be used by the plant. So it's an inefficient process. All right. So it's saying we live in Missouri. Our annual solar flux is 200 watts of power are reaching every square meter of land on average throughout the year uh, in Missouri and we have a hundred hectares which is 10 to the 6 uh, meter squared so a million meters so 10 to the 6 square meters square meters cancel so we're talking about 200 times 10 to the 6 watts of power potentially coming in now, you could take your efficiency product here, or you could wait to the end. My mind prefers to wait for it at the end, but you can do it either way. The math will work out the same. All right, so what do we do with this? We know, and remember, remember what a watt is. A watt is a joule per second. So 200 million joules per second of energy coming in. All right, so we've got 200 million, and I'll write it out like this if you want, 200 million joules of energy coming in per second. And we have to do the same conversion. There's 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, 365 days in a year. If you canceled all these units, seconds would cancel out, minutes would cancel out, hours would cancel out, days would cancel out, you'd be at joules per year. We don't want to be at joules per year, we want to be at BTUs. Because the problem goes on to describe the heat value of wood as 12 mega BTUs per ton. So we need to get to BTUs. And joules, remember joules, there's a direct conversion between joules and BTUs. There's... 1,055 joules in one BTU. So, our joules now cancel. Doing all this math. Let's see. 200, 200 million times 60 
times 60 times 24 times, that just means times 10 to the 13th, uh, 365 divided by, so now divided by 1,055 is comes out to 5.9, I'll round, 5.98 times 10 to the 12th BTUs per year, because it's an annual question. How many tons of wood could be produced each year? So, so that many BTUs of energy are produced per year. So see where our final units come from? BTUs per year. Okay. Um... Now we have to, the, the answer they wanted in tons, we have to do a little bit more conversion. 5.98 times 10 to the 12th BTUs per year. We know there's one mega BTU in 10 to the 6th. Mega means million BTUs. So our BTUs will cancel. And we're being told that wood... For every ton of wood you harvest, you can produce 12 mega BTUs of energy. Mega BTUs cancel, and this comes out to, if you do this math, whoops, this is 12. If you do this math, it comes out to 498,199 tons per year. Tons per year. And... That's and now we're left with our efficiency. We don't actually produce this much because remember we're an incredible this is an incredibly inefficient process. So you have to take into account the efficiency. So two different ways you could do it depending on how your brain works. Um, you could t say 498 and I'm, I'll round this 498,000 instead of 498. 199, just say 498,000 tons times an efficiency of only, remember, 1.1% is the same as 0 0.001. You have to move the decimal, right? Because 10% would be, would be 0.1. So you move the decimal twice. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Um, so this comes out to 498 tons. 498 tons of wood would be produced off of this property in Missouri. The other way you could do the efficiency is you could take your 498,000 tons that could have been produced, but your efficiency is only, you can set it up as a proportion, your efficiency is only 0.1 out of 100. So there's your 0.1%. So what would X be? Do a cross multiplication, you get the same number. 498 tons of wood produced off of this property.